and we will start with a presentation by Al Azrik. Uh, we'll be presenting on the Delta Cool project. Over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. I will share my screen. That's good for the share screen. Okay, great. Yeah, so, uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. My name is Zara Zrek. I am a PhD student in machine learning at the University of Versailles, Paris, Italy. I will present my work uh, about matching and analyzing uh, conservation and restoration trajectories. This work is a part of the Delgour project with the French National Library, the BN. So the outline of this presentation is as follows. I will start by an overview of our work. The key issues to analyze the conservation data, then the relevant data at the BNF. I will present the workflow to predict the document physical state. Then I will present the representation of the conservation trajectories. And I will introduce the evaluation of the similarity between the conservation trajectories and the prediction of the phys physical state then uh, some experiments and I will finish with uh, a conclusion. Uh, so I will start by the context of this work. The context of this work is an ongoing project to predict the physical state of the, of the documents as a BNF. So the conservation processes aim uh, to conserve the physical state of the documents and to maintain their availability to be requested by the readers. So the selection of the documents uh, to be treated is related to the degradation risk and the cost of the conservation process. So the objective is to detect the document most at risk and to treat them. The BNF contain almost uh, 20 million documents which need continuous physical state checking to be sure that they are in good physical state and they are communicable to the readers. This continuous uh, checking is impossible to be done manually due to their large number. Therefore, it's difficult to detect the degradations and interact quickly, which will lead to more degradations on the documents. So uh, the overall objective of the project is to design a decision support system for the conservation experts. The system should integrate the heterogeneous data from the BNF departments and analyze the conservation history of documents in order to enable the predictions on their physical state. The system should identify the documents that are likely to experience significant uh, degradation and to give alerts for the experts. So my work is a first step towards this analysis and the system, and I will focus on the following issues. So the first issue that I will address is the identification of the relevant data at the BNF. What is the relevant data at the BNF and uh, uh, which is related to the document physical state and that can be used and analyzed by the system? The second issue is how to represent the relevant data which describe the documents and their conservation history data or life cycle. And the third issue is how to compare the documents life cycles and how to evaluate their similarity. So uh, we have started this work by analyzing manually the databases of the, all the departments at the BNF to understand the information they describe and to identify which information is related to the document's physical state. So after the database analysis, we have selected uh, all the available data that are related to the document physical state. The selected data describe the conservation processes, the degradations, and the communication of the documents to the readers. So we have implemented an integrated database containing this data. So in order to predict the physical state of the documents, the analysis process contains different phases. The work starts by the extraction of conservation trajectories from the BNF databases. So each document will be represented by a trajectory that represents its conservation history. After that, the similarity between the trajectories will be computed and they will be grouped to extract clusters containing similar trajectories. Patterns will be extracted to, from the clusters and to be used to create prediction rules. Using uh, the implemented database and in order to go further with the analysis, we have introduced a representation of the life cycle of the documents by its sequence of conservation events called the conservation trajectory. So each document DI is represented by a trajectory TRI, where TRI is a sequence of events EI to EK. 
and each event is a triple formed as type, name, and time. So for the values of type, it can be a P if the event is a conservation restoration process, D if it's a uh, degradation, or C if it's a uh, communication by the readers. And for the value of the name, it can be uh, the name of the conservation process or the name of the degradation or the level of the communication. It can be equal to high, average, or low, depending on the number of requests to this uh, or to that document. For example, in this figure, we have uh, a conservation history of a document. It starts by a sequence of uh, six requests by the readers, represented in the trajectory by one event of communication with name equal to average followed by a degradation on the document physical state represented by the second event in the trajectory and followed by two events of conservation restoration and each one is represented by an event in the trajectory. And finally, a communication event with a low level as name represents the last request on the document. In order to go uh, further with analysis, and in order to analyze the conservation trajectories with an objective to detect some correlations between the trajectories and the document physical state, we should be able to calculate their similarities. And the evaluation of the similarities between each pair of trajectories requires also the evaluation of the similarity between each pair of the events. For example, in this figure, for us, uh, the two trajectories are not similar because none of their events are the same. But according to the domain experts, some events are equivalent and the two trajectories are very similar. The heterogeneous terminology in the name of the events due to the different terminology used by the departments at the BNF and that the name of the events evolved over time. So we propose to use an ontology in the process of events matching between the conservation trajectories. We propose a process of matching by linking each event in the trajectories to a concept in the ontology and the similarity will be calculated depending on the relationships between the concept and their positions in the ontology. But uh, the problem is uh, which ontology in the cultural heritage field can be used. None of the existing ontologies cover the terminology used at the BNF. Because there is no ontology we can use to link the conservation events, we have initiated in collaboration with the conservation exper expert at the BNF an ontology that contains concepts describing all the existing events and their, and their databases. So uh, CRMBNF is an ontology for the conservation restoration at the libraries, and it's linked to some existing ontology in the cultural heritage fields such as uh, CDOC CRM and CRMCR. So we have uh, identified 20 subclasses of the conservation process and 22 subclasses of the degradation concept, and we refer to these classes as semantic categories. And the calculation of the similarity between the events, the conservation events, will depend on these semantic uh, categories. So uh, for the evaluation of the similarity between the events in the ontology, we have the equivalence uh, when uh, there is a pass of equivalent class between two concepts. The inclusion is when there is a pass of subclass of between two concepts. The closeness is when two concepts are included in a third concept and they are in the same semantic category. And the dissimilarity of the two concepts belong to two different semantic categories. The similarity score in descending order starts by the equivalence uh, with a maximal value. We consider that the similarity score corresponding to the inclusion relationship should be higher than the similarity score of the closeness relationship because it ex expresses a, a stronger uh, relationship. Finally, the dissimilarity will be uh, the lowest uh, similarity score. So uh, once uh, the similarity between the event is defined, we can define the similarity between the conservation trajectories. So we have extended the LCSS measure, longest common subsequence, to take into consideration the relationships between the events and to maximize the similarity score between the conservation trajectories. The first extension of the LCESS measures takes into consideration the terminology heterogeneity and that by using the an ontology as an input. The second extension is that the LCESS shares uh, the maximal possible similarity score between two trajectories. So uh, in this example, 
we show uh, how the use of LCSS will increase the similarity score between two trajectories. So using LCSS, we will uh, match only the second event from TRI, the acidif acidification, with the first event from TRG. But using LCSS, will increase the score by finding uh, the three matches, the equivalence, inclusion, and the closeness. So for the prediction uh, of the uh, physical state, once the similarity is defined and the distance between the trajectories is calculated, we have selected the best clustering method uh, to our data. The obtained clusters are filtered depending on their homogeneity, and for each class available or out of order, we extract uh, representative uh, patterns. And uh, considering uh, that we have these patterns, that represent each class, the prediction rules are based, are based on them. For example, a document uh, having a trajectory that is similar uh, to the patterns of the available class will be classified as available, and the same for the second class. So I'll present now uh, some experiments on the matching and uh, on the prediction. Um, for the matching between the events, we run the first experiment three times on 100 random trajectories, and we compute the number of matches between those trajectories. The results show an increase of the number of matches with an average equal to 34% using LCESS. And in the second experiment, the results show the increase of the similarity between the conservation trajectories. So we have selected randomly a trajectory TR and compared it with a set of uh, 10,000 randomly selected trajectories. So the number of similar trajectories to, uh, to, uh, to TR increased by 116%. For the prediction experiment, we tested the system uh, on uh, 700 documents. So 560 among almost 600 are well classified as available and 94 among 110 are well classified as out of order. So uh, the model predictions accuracy is equal to uh, 93%. And uh, finally, as a summary of this work, uh, we have created the ontology that describes the events and the relationships with the, between them. We have extended the similarity measures to, uh, co to compare the semantic trajectories, the conservation trajectories. We have uh, used the clustering methods to extract patterns, and we have used the patterns for creating the rules to predict the physical state of the documents. So here is some references of our work on some uh, related works. And uh, thank you all very much for your attention. Thank you, Ala. Um, th this is wonderful. Um, how long did the, uh, if I can just jump in with one question, and if others have them, please, please also ask, how long did it take to develop this project? So this project is uh, a project of uh, my PhD. So I started this work. Uh, for uh, four years now to create the ontology, to extract the data, to uh, do the clustering and the classification uh, system. So uh, it's almost uh, three to four years. And um, can you comment further? How, what type of team? Did you have all of the knowledge and the data that you needed or was there a, a mixed team from VNF involved? So uh, when I started my work, I'm a, I, I am a computer scientist. So uh, I have no idea what is the conservation. I, have, uh, I, I, I don't know what's the data that I, I will find at the BNF. So in collaboration with the experts of the conservation at the BNF uh, that uh, give me the access and describe me what, uh, what I will uh, find in, this, the, in their databases, uh, I, I extract the data and I represent them. I, uh, I prepare the data for the machine learning algorithms. It, it seems it would be uh, surprising to find someone who could do both AI and was an expert in conservation science, but I'm, perhaps someone is watching this video now in the future. Yeah, of course.